check out this red hot valentine depleted ring shaped crinoline fascinator steaming hot right yeah and today i'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this ring shaped crinoline fascinator hello my name is Nkechi from the vent craft and i'm dedicated to training you on how to make various types of fascinators as well as showing you my fascinator designs Trust me, you don't want to miss any of my videos, so take a little time now and click the subscribe button and bell to be notified anytime I post a video, which is twice a week, Monday and Wednesday. Okay? Get set! Let's dive in and learn how to make this ring-shaped crinoline fascinator. Materials you'll be needing for this tutorial are measurement tape, your needle and thread, your scissors, your crinoline, your boning, your bias, Alice band, and your stone trimmings. The first thing we're going to do is clot our naked bone in. Yeah, we don't want any naked bones around. We're going to give it flesh and clothes. To do that, we'll be making use of 48 inches of bone in. Yes, that's 48 and... Yeah? And we'll be using our B7000 and our bias. Remember to use a bias that is the same color as your crinoline, unless you want to color block. Hmm, that's an idea. Anyway, let's see how to add flesh and clothes. We will do that all through the 48 inches of boning. We have the bone in all clotted now. Next thing we're going to do is to form the ring shape. Yeah, it's a ring shaped crinoline fascinator. Hmm, I should start considering designing another type of shape. Okay, no thinking now, back to our subscribers. So this is how we do it. Okay, we're securing it further. Got some more thread and needle to make it secured firmly. Next step is to make our crinoline cap. I would be measuring 36 inches of crinoline. I'm making use of what I call a decorative crinoline because this is not your usual plain crinoline fascinator. It costs slightly more than your regular plain fascinator and it's so lovely. The first thing you would do is to pull the thread from the two edges of the cut out crinoline fascinator. Drag it till it squeezes real tight. So I'm dragging it like that. Then you pleat the two edges. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm pleating them. Can you see that? Yes. Next, you tie it all up.
then you cut out the excess thicken out that the pieces above where you have tied next thing you're going to do is turn it like that yes and that's our cup next is to cut out three pieces of crinoline with two inches increase on each so i used 18 inches 20 and 22 inches you can decide to use less or more depending on the size of bowl that you want to have on the fascinator so the next thing I'm going to do is take out the thread. Remember the thread we used to drag? Now I want to remove it totally. It gives the finishing a nice, it makes the finishing nice. So that's what I'm doing. I'll take out all the thread. And um, I fold it like so. Then bend it. Remember it's a bow we're making. So that's how I'm going to do it. Like that. Yeah. And I'm going to sew it. So let's get the other two done the same way, folding like a bowl, then you take your needle and thread and you sew them together. okay so we're done with all now what we're going to do is to stack them with the longest down following with the next so that's 22 20 and 18 then you sew them together make sure you grab the two edges so it it's firm next step is to attach the alice band I made use of the thinnest Alice band. You can go for the fat or average depending on preference. I like the thing because it can hide within a week, a week. So this is how you sew the Alice band to the crinoline cap. Next step is to form a shape, make the crinoline cap smaller. So we're going to fold it like I did and you're going to sew it on the Alice band. Can you see it's like you have one small cap over, over there. So now we're going to put the bow that we've just made on top of our cap that's on top of an Alice band. So now I'm attaching it like so. Okay, let's tie this up completely and then we add our clothed boning to the fascinator cap.
Gaining value from this video, please give me a thumbs up. Yes, click the like button. Okay, we are now knotting it. Once we're done with that, the next thing is to put our stone trimmings on the fascinator. Yes, so our ring shaped crinoline fascinator is coming to shape. Yeah, I've gotten the measurements I need. Okay, time to attach the stone trimmings. We're going to be making use of our electric glue gun there to attach it and we'll take it round to cover all the sewings that we did so we have a nice finishing. A nice finished product, I mean. Then we've got to cover the back also, so I made use of a small pulley piece. And that's how you make your ring-shaped crinoline fascinator. Can also be worn on a low cut. You can see it's so lovely. Thanks for staying till the end.